in the last video we looked at ordinary rotate instructions in this video we'll look at the rotate with carry instruction and see some examples using the rcl and rcr mnemonics before we jump into the operation of the rotate with carry instruction let's look at a few instructions in x86 that operate on the carry flag we have the clc instruction that clears the carry flag the set carry instruction that sets the carry flag and the cmc instruction which complements the carry flag the hexadecimal values within the parentheses are the respective opcodes for these instructions these instructions operate on implicitly on the carry flag so they don't need any explicit operands to be specified one of the fundamental differences between the rotate through carry instruction and the ordinary rotate instruction is that the carry flag is involved in the rotation process here i have the register eax which is loaded with the hexadecimal value dead beef the binary representation is shown in the register the original value or the initial value of carry flag is assumed to be a zero and the instruction that is used is an rcl instruction which is the rotate carry left the rotation is to be performed on the eax register and the immediate operand specifies the number of times the rotation is to be performed which in this case is a one during the execution of this instruction the cpu does a shift left of the eax register by one this causes the most significant bit to be copied over to the carry flag and since the entire register is being shifted left by one there is a vacant position introduced in bit zero the older value of the carry flag is then copied to bit zero which is the vacant position so after the rotation is done the carry flag has a value of one and the eax register has a value of bd5 b7 dde in hexadecimal the rotate through carry right is similar to rotate through carry left but in this case the direction of the shift is towards the right so the least significant bit in the register gets copied to the carry flag and the older value of the carry flag is copied to bit 31 which is the vacant bit after the shift so after the rotate carry right executes we are left with a result of 6F5, 60F77 in the EAX register and the carry flag is a 1. Let's go to the IDE now and see these examples in action. The first example we are going to do is the RCL instruction. And the operand, immediate operand that we are going to specify is a 1 which signifies a rotate count of one and the rotation is to be performed on the eax register and we will use the rcl flavor of the rcl instruction because our operand is 32 bits notice that the eax register is mapped to the input variable which has the value dead beef and after the rotation is done the output will also be in the eax register so the output value is also mapped to the eax register and before we start with the actual rotation since the rcl instruction is also going to involve the carry flag in its rotation let us start with the clc instruction which will clear the carry flag so that we when the rotation is performed the carry flag is in a known state so once we have that let's run this program and we see that 
the result after the rotate carry left is BD5, B7, DDE, which matches the value that we saw on the slide. Let me replace the RCL instruction with the RCR instruction and run the program again. So this time the rotation is to the right and we get a value of 6F5, 6DF77, which also matches the value we saw earlier. So I hope this video gives you a brief introduction of the rotate with carry left and rotate with carry right instructions and also um, a brief overview of the instructions that manipulate the carry fly. I'll see you guys in the next video.